In today's video, we're going to draw a form which extends the form that we did in the last video in exercise 25. And we're going to use four lines, separate lines, to extend our form. We start off by drawing um, what I like to call a little balloon with a loop at the bottom. Then we draw um, a loop inside the balloon, come out and draw a loop, go up and draw a loop and come down and draw a loop and up to draw a loop and down to draw a loop and back up to draw a loop, down to draw a loop and then up again to draw a loop. That's the first line, the balloon with a loop and then the second line is all of these loops going round. The third line starts here. We draw a loop and then we come down and draw a loop and go up to draw a loop. Then we come out of the form and down to draw a loop and then we go up to draw a loop and we go down to draw a loop and up to draw a loop. And then we go down and draw a new loop come up to draw a loop and down to draw a loop and then we go up to draw a loop and down to draw a loop and then we rise back up into the form where we draw a loop go down to draw a loop up to draw a loop and down to draw a loop and then up and meet the line where we started so that's the third line and then here's the fourth line to finish off the form so we start again, draw a loop, go down to draw a loop, up to draw a loop, down to draw a loop, up to draw a loop, and then we come out of the form, down to draw a loop, and then up to draw a loop, down to draw a loop, up to draw a loop, down to draw a loop, up to draw a loop, and then we go round the form, and we go up to draw a loop, down to draw a loop, up to draw a loop, down to draw a loop, up to draw a loop, and our final loop. And then we come back up and meet the line. So that means we end up with six loops at the bottom. We've got six loops at the bottom, five loops above that, four loops above that, three loops above that, two loops above that and one loop um, at the top here. So in order for you to see the four different loops, because when you're looking at this form, this can be really difficult to draw initially. I am going to show you uh, with colors what it looks like. And that, and that way I hope you'll be able to, when you need to draw this yourself, um, be able to see more clearly where it is you need to go. So start with a green and then we'll use a, I think we'll use a purple. Um, so then I'll go, I go down to create my first loop and then I go up to create my loop. And as you can see here, when I'm doing my, uh, you could actually do the loop and then come out of the form and you go down, you create your first loop. The first loop is sort of a little bit to the side of this loop at the bottom of our balloon. So it's set to a little bit to the side and the, the loop that we're creating to the other side is a little bit, uh, or opposite the this loop, is a little bit to the side as well. So then we continue down our form and we create the first loop here, down here. And you haven't drawn this line yet. So basically, if you try and imagine that the paper is completely blank. So here, you're drawing your next loop here. When you come up, you basically want to be kind of close to this loop. You really want to be sort of in between these two loops with this loop here. Then you want to come down 
uh, with a loop and you want to go back up so then you can see you you have three loops we've created here you want to come up and the next loop you're drawing has to sit on top of the the, the loop here and then you come down and create a loop and that should really sit on top of this loop here and then you come up and you meet up with your line so that's the second line now we'll use an orange for the third line so here we're creating the first loop and that sits underneath the the set of loops so here it's in line and then the bottom loop here should sit under this loop here and then you go round and you come out of your form and you go down and then the first loop here wants to sit a little bit out to the side because there's four loops so it it needs to extend a little bit this bit here has to be a little bit wider than this bit here otherwise it's all going to get squished so we've got our loop here and then we'll go down here and as you can see when I came down here I placed my orange loop in between the orange loop up here and the purple loop so it sort of sits in but in the middle space between those two and then my next loop down here is kind of in the middle space up here and then my loop over here should sort of sit a little bit out to the side as well and this this will be difficult when you do it initially so if you can just get the four loops in and don't worry about you know do they sit nicely I'm showing you this just so that you know once you get the hang of it and you create your three loops four loops five loops six loops then you can start working with placing them but it, it will take a bit of practice uh, unless you're very experienced with form drawing already so here we're coming back up my crayon is a bit fat so the line is not very neat so then we come up and here we create so the the four loops are actually um, all in the same color just like the two loops are the set of two loops so the set of two loops in, is in the same color but then here we're in when we're starting with a new line of course there are two separate uh, different colors the four loops are all the same color. Um, so then finally, I'll show you the last line. We'll draw that up with the blue. And again, remember to place your loop, this loop here, slightly to the side of the loop above because otherwise there won't be won't really be room and then the next loop should sort of go in between so the next loop here is in between these two loops above and then this loop here goes also in between and So you can see this loop, which has this loop sitting on top of it when we come round, will sort of sit in between there. So you really want to have this loop could be placed a little bit further out here. So you sort of have a loop under every space between the loops above. I hope that makes sense. And remember to make a good space when you draw your loops initially, otherwise you're going to find it difficult to, <laughs> to fit them all in. Um, and actually, um, I would suggest that, you know, 
um, I normally do these form drawings with a piece of graphite, which is quite, makes quite a, th a thick line. But actually, uh, I would suggest if you have a, a you know, a, a pencil or like a, a, a pencil-like piece of graphite, use that instead because you can, you can control your lines more easily. So that's the form which is shown as um, exercise 17 in Kutzley's workbook. Um, and personally, I think this is quite um, difficult to um, get started with uh, straight from just doing the, the exercise that we did in the last videos. Um, so uh, in order to break it down for you, I would suggest that you maybe start off, uh, make it uh, a little more um, easy for yourself and perhaps also more enjoyable by creating a balloon with a little loop. And then we have our little loop inside our balloon coming out, creating a loop going up to create another loop and then coming down and rounding, coming back up, creating a loop, rounding, creating another loop, rounding, coming up. So here you're starting off and as you can see, <laughs> my, um, my form didn't get super harmonious. So, you know, like usual, we just, um, we'll go over our form until we think, oh yes, now it's, you know, now it's looking nice, now it, it, that's better. Um, and so you just sort of adjust your form. Now I'm going the opposite way around. I, I really wouldn't suggest you do that, but um, yeah, I'm doing it just now. Um, so I'll just show you. So here you know I would suggest you maybe just you could start off with doing this where you have your green balloon with a loop and then you have your your form which is finished with just two loops added right so once you've done that I would then suggest that you go on and add, so here you have one loop, two loops, so then you extend the form and do it where you add on with the three loops. So in order to do that, you would draw your balloon with the little loop, and then we have our, um, our loop here that comes out, and then here we do extend this line so down here this is then the the form that emulates the form in the book but what we do instead of drawing the whole of the orange line is we simply draw one two three loops and then we just round it off and come back so I'll just show you what then that would look like so here we have our green and then the purple that up so it becomes really clear that it's the purple color 
and, and then we've got the here we then have the orange starting but instead of going down the way and creating all of this with the orange line you simply round it off and there you have three loops so if you then wanted to create four loops you would draw your balloon with a loop and then you'd have your um, you'd have your loop coming down, going up, coming down, and then coming up. And then, so here we're where we are, where we were with the with this one. But now we want to create another layer. So here we go: one loop, two loops, three loops. So here we have our three loops. And we go down, and we create our loop. Loop, two, three, and then we round it off. Come back up, one, two, three, and here you have your four loops. So see, now you have your four loops here, so I'll just draw that up again, so you can see. Right, so here we have our first one, and then the purple colour is here. I'm sorry I'm not being very neat here with the loops. Obviously you want to take great care and draw your loops really carefully as you're practicing this. I'm just trying to make sure that I get these different shapes into this video so you can see them all and practice them. I'm trying to cut down the time of these <laughs> videos because otherwise they end up being super long. And I think I maybe lose people like that. So um, then we have our orange, which we also used for the three, but it's now extended down the way with the to create the the four loops below. Coming round, going up, going down. I'm hoping that by using these colours, when you're looking at it, if you if you want to try and draw these, pause the video and then have a, a good look at the colours, where the colours are in relation to the loops. So that's what it would look like with um, four loops and of course you can do another one again uh, where you're extending so you would draw the full um, orange line um, but then you know towards the end um, you would then draw with the blue I don't think I have room to do it that's why I'm explaining it so you would then start with the blue uh, to do the five and then instead of coming down to do the six you would simply round it off here uh, if you were wanting to put on the the five loops um, here so you would you know you would continue down with the orange line you do the whole orange line and then with the blue instead of doing these loop it around okay I hope that's clear um, let me know in the comments if you think that's not clear at all. Why didn't you show that? Uh, I really needed to see that or whatever. I hope that um, these 
will keep you busy and I hope you've practiced um, uh, last week's exercise because otherwise this might cause you a little bit of a headache or it will certainly demand um, quite a bit of practice but I hope you will enjoy drawing these and obviously try and um, do as best you can that's all we can ever do and then I'll be back next week with a new form drawing exercise for you.